So Notion set up a new native repeating task agenda, project updates, theme update, functionality today. And you can set all of this up through templates. Repeat frequencies are daily, weekly, though you can set this up multiple times a week. Monthly, which again includes the provision to set this up. Monthly to bi-monthly to every quarter or every four months or even every six months if you so desire. And similarly, you can set this up every year or every few years again if you so desire. You can also assign a start date and a time for this function to start and it will trigger from that start date and time. Before you start setting this up, you need to set up the database. Let's set up the default database. Let's add in a date and a created date into the mix. Let's add a table view and additionally a calendar view to complete this template. So how does this work? So the whole thing has been set up through the template option inside of Notion. To set a new one up, you click on the blue arrow of the new button. That's the one you see for creating new database templates. You can create a new template or just modify an existing one. Next to each template, you will see three dots. Just click on it. Once you click on the three dots, you will see a new option called repeat. When you select the frequency that we discussed a little while earlier, that includes daily, weekly, monthly or yearly, you can see things like this. Once you set it up, don't forget to hit the save button. Otherwise, it won't be saved. Let's talk about execution. When the time comes, the entry will be automatically triggered. You will not enter any date into the date field in the template. What you will notice, the date is blank, but the created date is filled up as usual. That's the time that you have set as a reminder. Now, by default, the entry will not be there in the calendar. But then you will have a few entries that pop up as undated. When you select and confirm, they will auto populate into the respective dates. If however, you change the group by entry in the calendar by created date, it will show up in the calendar on the created date, if that's what you want. The other option is to add the newly updated at the rate command that Notion has introduced. There you can add a relative date or a relative time as the case may be, and that's affected once the record goes live in Notion. What you should note here is that Notion allows for only relative dates and not the actual date, though it will convert into the actual date as it's transition inside of Notion. So what's missing? So Notion's update is a good start. I would say that it's a recurring templates feature rather than a recurring tasks feature. If you notice, the future entry to the recurring tasks don't really show up. So you can't really follow a default calendaring system block times and dates, which go for a toss if you use this for scheduling appointments because the events pop up at the time of the event. Secondly, it does not have the facility to schedule meetings or recurring meetings and send out invites. Again, it doesn't have advanced features scheduling for the first Thursday of the month. However, if you use this in conjunction with Google Calendar, with integrators like Notion Automation or Zapier, you continue to enjoy true recurring tasks or calendar management. This is where the Notion update really shines. So how do you feel about this feature? Let me know in the comments below. To see more differentiated Notion videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to my Twitter feed, where you will see more posts more frequently. For now, adios, amigos.